And now, a word of faith with Bishop Barra. In the footsteps of Abraham. Hi there. Today I want to talk about the revolt of Abraham. Faith without revolt does not work. The scripture says that faith without deed, without action, is dead. This action, this deed, is revolt. You do have faith in God, but you have to put God against the wall. Yes, you heard me well. To put God against the wall. To say, God, if you exist, where is the promise? One day, Abraham had to speak to God like that. Let us read it together. The way he spoke to God. Abraham's revolt. He said, Lord God, what will you give me seeing I go childless? And the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Then Abraham said, look, he was talking to God. Look. You have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. Abraham was raising. He was bringing up a boy that was not his son. He was the son of a slave, his maid servant. But one day he got revolted. He said, Lord, you promised to make me the father of many nations. But even one, just one son, I do not have. He put the promise, the word of God to test. And this is what you have to do. You have to put God's word to test. You have to say, God, my life is incomplete. I have a husband, but I don't have children. I have a wife, but I don't have a family. I have a car, but I cannot put gas. I have a house that is not mine. I have to pay rent. I have to pay mortgage. You have to be revolted against this situation. However, revolt without sacrifice is nothing. Let us use these three steps of Abraham. His faith, his revolt, and his sacrifice. This is what brings to you a complete life. In the footsteps of Abraham.